Hi, I'm Brian Vance, WorldBikeTracker.com, and today we're going to talk about what it takes to prep your street bike to go and do a track day. Okay, so here's my new bike, man, GSXR 1000. We're going to build a, a replica of our race team partners. Suzuki GSXR 1000R, it's team M4X star, the rider is Jake Lewis. But right now, well, it's Thursday afternoon, it's probably like about three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I just picked the bike up this morning. We're leaving for the racetrack tomorrow, well, at about this time. And I cannot take this bike out there and ride it exactly as it sits. Every organization is different. Every organization has their own requirements, but there are some that are just pretty basic rules. It also tends to vary depending on if you're riding in the advanced class, the intermediate, or the novice class. I'll be riding this bike this weekend at Grattan Raceway with Sport Bike Track Time, my favorite organization, in the advanced class. And their rules for that, for bike prep, are pretty clear. No green coolant. So I'm going to have to do a coolant change on the bike. Engine Ice is approved for use with that organization. We'll have a separate video where I show you the coolant change on this particular model. We also have to have a safety wired drain plug and oil filter. Got some my safety wire here, safety wire pliers. I'm gonna actually on this motorcycle use a hose clamp and some safety wire to get this done. But I'm gonna show you an example of a filter. This is a high flow race filter that has a pre-drilled nut at the top. That's another way to do it, just a little bit easier. This bike's brand new, zero miles, and I don't want to change the filter right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and for the first time, use just a hose clamp and some safety where I'll show you that. The stock drain plug, we sell pre-drilled plugs. I don't wanna pull the plug right now, it's still got the, the fresh oil in it. I wanna run the bike the first time with that oil in it, so I'm gonna show you how to drill the plug actually right on the bike. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get that done to get that stuff wired up. Oil fill cap, that needs to be wired. Well, I'm gonna put this super bitchin' driven oil fill cap on. It's pre-drilled for safety wire. That's gonna make that a snap. Okay, that's not even close to being it. There is more. Mirrors. You can leave them on the bike if you want to, but you have to tape over any of the glass surface on the mirror itself. I'm going to remove the mirrors. I'm going to use some zip ties. Once I pull the mirrors off, I'll run cable ties through there just to hold the upper to the fairing stay. That'll work nicely. I will then pull the fuses for the headlight as well as the tail light, and I'll tape over them. Blue painter's tape works phenomenally. It's easy to get off to. It's not going to leave any residue on the lights. Little reflectors and stuff, we're taking those off. Those are gone. Rear fender, I'm just going to unbolt that. Right, I'm going to unbolt that, unplug it, take it off the bike. That's going to be easy. Wheel weights also have to be taped over with duct tape. Got a roll of duct tape. I'm going to fling some tape over the weights. After I balance my brand new Pirelli race slicks. Okay, I'm going to ride on some race rubber the first go around. When I'm doing the tires, I'm going to throw a set of valve stems in. The angled valve stems are nice to have. They're better than the rubber stuff. Some things that I want. My, personally, I really like a tank grip pad on the bike, so I'm going to throw some stomp grip on it real quick. Stock grips. I hate them. I can't ride with them. I'm going to throw a pair of driven super bike grips on the motorcycle. So, to recap, green coolant, that's got to go away. Approved stuff, check your org. They're all a little bit different. Engine ice is approved here, so I'm going to use that. Look for the separate video there. We're going to have a safety wired oil fill cap. I'm going to safety wire the drain plug. I'm going to safety wire the oil filter. R remove the rear fender. If you leave this on, you got to tape over any of the plastic, any of the glass stuff. I'm going to leave the tail light in. We'll tape over that. I'm going to pull the mirrors, pull the front signals, tape over the headlight, and I'll remove these super fly reflectors. Those are out too. Okay, in this track day prep video, the main focus has been on this, you know, Suzuki GSX-R 1000R. It's brand new. We're showing you things that cool and change, safety wear, those kind of things. You know, the, the big stuff, the big things. 
We're going to show you now on this R3 some things that most tech inspectors are going to look at when you go through tech inspection. I used to do this for sport bike track time a long, long time ago. We're probably talking over 10 years ago at this point. I still go to a bunch of their days, so I'm pretty familiar with what their staff does do and what they are looking at. Most orgs are going to be pretty close. One thing I want to say right now, this isn't about giving you a hard time when you show up with your bike and making your day tough. It's not about trying to sell you a set of tires or anything. It's about keeping you safe out there to make sure you really enjoy your day. So really focus on that. If they find something in tech and you have to deal with it, don't be all tuned up. Just go handle it because they're really looking out for you. So tires. Max's bike is a great one to look at for this, okay? Think 50% or more and in good condition. These Power RSs, they're gonna pass that, no doubt about it. The kid's gotta work, he still got little chicken strips here. We'll work on that next time. Also, they don't wanna see the tire blue like this tail section from overheating, okay? They wanna see it in good condition. So tires, 50% and in good condition. Chain and sprockets, they're gonna look at the rear sprocket. Make sure the teeth are all there, looks good. They're gonna to touch the chain to get a rough idea of where we're at with chain tension. Make sure it's not excessively loose. As they're walking around the bike, you're just gonna see a lot of this. They're just gonna to be touching stuff, okay? Just to make sure it's not loose. Come back around to the front, levers. Take a quick look at the forks. Make sure we don't have any fork seal leaks. Once again, just touching stuff as they come around the bike. Here's a big one right here, throttle return. I guarantee they're gonna to touch that more than once. They're gonna open it all the way and let it go to make sure it snaps back. That is a major safety issue right there. Brake lever, come down here, brake pads. A Little tougher to see on this one, but they're gonna to wanna to get an idea of how much brake pad material you have remaining. What condition is the rotor in? The R3 looks all good to go. We're gonna continue moving back. Come to the rear, check the brake pads, check the condition of the rotor. Muffler straps and hangers, man, those are a big one. I've seen a lot of that stuff fall off over the years. They're gonna check all that to make sure that when you head out, you're in good, sound, mechanical order to enjoy your day. We're gonna start with the OE oil fill cap. One thing you wanna try and do, best practice is always when you're wiring something, you want to try and do it directionally so that the wire is pulling it tight at the same time. So when you think about this oil fill cap here, well, that was pretty dang tight from the factory. You think about that, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So that's tight right there. I'm going to drill through the cover here. Look at that little boss they put on the Suzuki. Suzuki does a great job of making it easy to work on these bikes and prepping for the track. I'm going to drill through there. It's going to be about anchor point. If I pull from here to there, well, that's gonna kind of be pulling it in the loosening direction, so that's no bueno, we don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna drill over here, we'll safety wire through here, and then back through here. Okay, the drain plug on this 2018 GSX-R1000R. I wanna do this on the bike. The bike's a zero mile bike, I just wanna leave the oil that's in it right now and not change it, so, you know, to wire this and drill it, the easiest way is to do it. It's off the bike, there's no question, okay? I've got enough clearance here. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to handle this on the motorcycle, so we're gonna go for that. I'm definitely gonna use my, my center punch to help me get that lined up straight out of the gate. And looking for an anchor point, you can see they've got this lip here on the front of the oil pan. That's got to be um, a solid mass. So what I'm gonna do, once again, rotationally this drain plug tightens this way okay towards the front of the bike so i'm going to drill here and then i make the anchor point here in the oil pan okay so drilled through the dry screw i only drilled through one ear of it okay and watch that Safety wire passes right through. You're going to spend a few minutes doing this. Let me, I'll be honest with you, it's not the most fun thing in the entire world to do, okay? You need to secure this in a vise to do it, typically. Okay, so once again, Suzuki, Steve, you want to come right over here. Right here, there's a tab. 
on that oil pan. It's just extra material. What I want to do is that's going to be our anchor point. I'm going to drill through that. Okay, so getting this bike ready for the track. I picked it up yesterday. I started working on this thing, I don't know, around noon or one o'clock yesterday. What I've been able to do so far is disconnect the tail light. I've got it taped over like we talked about. I installed a full system. Yeah, I made time for that. You know, it's like anybody else. You're excited, you got a brand new bike. You don't want to go there with that giant stock muffler. So I carved out a whole block of time for that M4 full system install. I need some stomp grip. Stuff's really, really helpful for me. Highly recommend that to anybody. Tank grips, it just helps you use a lot less energy to hold onto the bike. Stock grips, I don't love them. I put on a set of Driven Superbike grips. This bike actually has a real bitchin' throttle tube. I used uh, compressed air to blow the stock grip off, and I used compressed air to blow the stock or the new grip on. A lot of serrations and ridges to hold the grips. There was no need for grip glue. Other side, I did glue it. Turn signals are removed. Superfly reflectors, pss, those are gone. Mirrors are off. See, just zip ties right through there, real quick. Taped over the headlight. These two cool LED lights on both sides. In our bodywork removal video, I show you how to get the seat off. Okay, these got these two little panels on either side. Seat bolts are right there. Boom, you got a fuse block. I pulled three fuses high beam, low beam, and I think it was a running light fuse. 7575 and a 10 amp. That got all this stuff up front off. Obviously, I already have the rear fender and the turn signals are off the bike, and I've got taped over that. I replaced the coolant with approved coolant. We have an entire video showing you how to do that. I also safety wired and drilled the oil filter using a hose clamp, show you how to do that so I didn't have to replace the filter. Drilled the stock drain plug and wired that. And then, of course, the stock oil fill cap. So this bike's ready for my day tomorrow. At Sport Bike Track Time, Granton Raceway, I'm pumped. New bike. I'm going to have Jimmy put a set of Pirellis on this thing right now while I wrench on Max's R3. And we're loading the trailer. So there you have it. This is what it takes to just prepare for a track day on what was essentially a stock motorcycle and pass tech at most organizations.